a short clip from Brampton's official YouTube channel. Simple and minimalist. But how come that this kind of super effortless marketing strategy could encourage the market to buy a $4,000 bike? Well, before that, let's take a look here. In 2019, the sales of Brompton went on a 15% increase from the year before. But how about this year? We might think that the sales went down due to the COVID-19, but no, it's not. Until April 2020, the sales went by 5 times higher than the previous year, which is unbelievable. It is because people are actually starting to afford public transportation and it's something practical to help them mobilize. And Brompton is the right answer to this issue. Despite its high achievement in generating sales, Brompton actually doesn't really pay attention towards daily marketing strategy. CEO of Brompton, Will Butler, said in one of his interviews that if they were given money to develop the business strategy, they surely will invest it for research activities to improve the bike qualities rather than deploy it for advertising campaigns. Well, this actually makes sense as the bike quality is super light and compact. So, actually, how does Brompton promote its brand? First, word of mouth strategy. They are relying on the strategy as it is super powerful because the brand offers a high standard product which always makes the consumer satisfied and end up recommending it to their friends. But remember, not all brands can actually implement this strategy. Only those with a very high customer satisfaction rate can do it. Second one, online marketing strategy. They optimize the usage of social media and fill up their platform with aesthetic photos taken by users. This strategy is called user-generated content. And for some launching campaigns, they come up with video competition with a very tempting price. This kind of actions encourage their users to participate in promoting and exposing their own bike on their social media. It leads to a pretty good impact because it makes the society realize that this holding bike is suitable for anyone and can be used everywhere. These are the short clips taken from Brompton YouTube channels regarding the finalists about their competition. Next one is collaborating with public figures. The most awaited collaboration was with David Miller, an expert racer. This collaboration resulted in a very exclusive edition called the Brompton Chapter 3. They also want to collaborate with Line Official and launch the Line Character Edition, which attracts a very wide market attention. Last but not least, the community-based marketing. For the past few years, this brand managed to create brands which encourage the user to form communities. One of the concepts that was carried by the brand supported their user to socialize and communicate with each other. It makes the users feel like joining an exclusive club but in a more humble fashion. For example, some com communities love to hold biking events that require the participant to wear unique customs. And even sometimes, the CEO itself, Will Butler, join the events. So from here we can see how come they sell bike with more than a thousand dollar price and even create trends with a hard selling strategy. Yes, the word of mouth marketing is super powerful towards the brand. Well, this video only summarizes some of their cool strategies. But I believe that Brompton actually has a much more value on its brand and strategy, right? <laughs>